So now we'll create the folder for our project. We'll call this next cookie auth and we'll bring that into our code editor. So we'll initialize our package.json with npm in it and we'll leave it at next cookie auth description cookie authentication with next.js. Entry point will have that be server.js, no test command, no git repo, no keywords. We can input our author, no license, and we'll hit yes to say it's okay. Then we'll install our dependencies, next, react, react dom, and we'll be running an express server in conjunction with next. So we'll install the express package. And once all that's installed, we can create a server.js file with touch server.js. Once that's created, we'll start by bringing in next. So we'll say const next equals require next. We'll need express, so const express and require that. We'll include our dev variable, so process.env.nodeenv is not equal to production. The port that we'll be running on will be either process.env.port or fallback of 3000. We'll create our app with next and pass our dev variable to the dev property in the next config object. Then we'll take our app, execute the prepare method on it, and then within the body of the then, we'll create a variable called called server where we're going to initialize express, the express package. And to start our express server to listen on our port, we'll take server, execute the listen method on it, pass it the port variable, and the callback accepts an error. So if there's an error in starting up our server, we'll throw that error. Otherwise, We'll just console log with template literals listening on port and add our port. So we can save all that and then add our dev script in our scripts area. So dev will just be node server.js. With that, we can now run npm run dev and we should see it compile successfully and our log listening on port 3000.